Hi YouTube, Stuart here again and welcome back to my channel. So I just made an upgrade on my DIY trickle tower. So I put in this um, overflow. So as you can see the water is overflowing there on that pipe. And then obviously it comes down and goes down into my trickle tower. Much better than the siphon idea, that was quite makeshift. It did work but this is obviously better, everybody's using these. Um, none, of the, none of these ideas are my ideas, these are just things I get off the internet. I uh, probably need to say a thanks to Joey, the king of DIY, because he has some great ideas on his channel and anybody that's into this hobby and likes to make DIY things, we all know who he is. Um, so I don't know whether he came up with these ideas first, because there is a lot of other videos with the same ideas, but Whoever come up with them first, they are great ideas and they're very effective and as you can see this is working very well. Um, it's a good, bit tricky to um, um, obviously get the air out of it, you need to put in this check valve but um, once you get used to doing it and once you kind of understand the theory of it, it's uh, very very easy and once you put it together properly obviously. I mean, I'm not going to explain how to put it together because there is a lot of videos about how to put this together. I just wanted to show it working and to show that it does work very well. Um, obviously if the pump stops then everything stops so there's no problems there, it just stops. Um, as well as that, if this gets blocked then obviously the pump is going to keep pumping but I like to, you know, keep um, not so much water in this in this tank or sump or whatever you want to call it um, I want to keep just the right amount of water in this so that it won't overflow the tank so that even if it does get blocked I mean it'll only go so far down to the pump before the pump stops because I won't have any more water to put into the tank yeah so that's that working I'll just put the uh, lid back on this now and just show it when it's uh, fully finished and looking pretty good I think. So the top is back on and the DIY trickle tower with overflow is completed. Um, the reason why I did it was my tank is a little bit overstocked so I just needed some extra filtration. I have two canister filters in that tank already and um, that's where my biological media is, that's why I didn't put biological media in this, this is just mechanical media and there is some carbon in it as well, so chemical. Um, but yeah, I think I got it as good as it's going to look, apart from being integrated into the tank which I didn't have space for. Um, yeah, so you can just see it actually running or the water overflowing into it. I'll give you a close up. Yeah, it just overflows nicely. And that's the uh, return. And it's just a constant cycle down through the trickle tower and back. Um, yeah, it wouldn't cost too much. Uh, I I had most of the components already, but uh, here in Perth, Western Australia, I reckon you could probably do this with the pump and with a with a storage container as, as a, a sump or as a, somewhere to collect water I reckon you could do it for about 85 Australian dollars with the pump and everything that'd be, in, that'd be doing nicely like maybe 90 maybe 80 if you're, if you're lucky if you shop around so uh, yeah that's is completed. Thanks for watching.